This is Michael Wilson. Yahweh knows the way of the righteous. So this is a journey of faith and purpose. Let's do it. In the heart of the book of Psalms, the first chapter sets the tone for the entire collection of poetic and spiritually enriching verses. Among these verses, Psalm 1, 3 to 6, stands as a profound statement that encapsulates the divine wisdom and guidance to provide it to those who seek righteousness. The words of King David offer a powerful message of faith and purpose. So let us dive, delve into the depth of this verse and explore how it resonates with the journey of a devoted Christian. We read, he is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither. In all he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will, will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahweh knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So the way of the righteous. As a Christian, we stand justified and made righteous by the blood of our Messiah Jesus shed for us to deliver us from sin. So King David reminds us that those who choose to walk in the way of the righteous are known by Yahweh. This recognition is a source of comfort and encouragement. It signifies that our faith and devotion do not go unnoticed. The creator of the universe acknowledges our efforts to live a life according to his commandments. So the tree by the streams of water, what a beautiful way to see things. Of course, you're familiar with desert and oasis kind of living. There are these places where the water gathers and there are in fact trees. And so this metaphor of righteousness and a righteous person being planted by the streams of water is very illuminating to us. The image reflects the idea of stability and nourishment and spiritual growth. Just as the tree's roots draw sustenance from the flowing water, our faith draws its strength from the living waters of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, often described as living water in the Bible, provides refreshment, refreshment and substance to our spirit. It is through prayer, meditation, and an unwavering commitment to God's word that our faith can flourish. The result of a life that bears the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, what does the end of the wicked look like? Well, David reminds us of the contrasting fate of the wicked. Just as the righteous are known by Yahweh and flourish like trees by the streams of water, the wicked are destined for perishing. Their way leads to emptiness and despair, like chaff blown away by the wind. So Psalms 1, 3 to 6 is a testament to the depth of our faith and the promises of God. So may our life be a testimony to the transformative and sustaining power of faith through our actions, words, and unwavering commitment to God's way, we can be the source of inspiration and hope for all those around us. Our family, our life, everything is firmly rooted in the righteousness and watered by the Holy Spirit. It can bear the beautiful fruits of love, joy, and peace. And in so doing, Glorify the name of Yahweh. Now that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.